but I mean, I'm not frightened talking about the fact I have I have mm. stage four kidney cancer, and um, I'm making the most of my life. I, I think it's quite a good thing knowing you're not going to be here forever and ever and ever. Well, everyone but, knows that. Though, well, yeah, they? exactly. Mm -hmm. And I think if people uh, can, realize... I, can I say though? Can I say that? And I and I just I'm sorry to interrupt, mm. but I, I want to say to you because uh, I have great love for you and I have great respect for you. And you, in your way, I know that people love you and, and people you. know yeah. uh, how talented you are. But I also think that you are a world-class broadcaster. And I want to say that to you because, and you're so, no, but you are so humble about your your predicament. You, and it's, yeah, hey, but hey. you don't know, please, you don't. Because Lizzie's uh, former husband uh, went through it as well. And people go Jason, through it. Yeah, and Jason, Jason Cundy, um, who's a mate and uh, a really nice guy. And a lot of people, I... When I think I'm 71, and I've been lucky enough to do this job for, for since I was a 20-year-old, mm. and I am very lucky. But when I see kids, teenagers, youngsters, um, people who've just had a family who have been diagnosed with terminal cancer, which a lot of people have, mm. that makes me really sad. Mm. Because a lot of cancer is treatable. A lot of cancer can be put at bay. Some cancer can be completely cured. I had my first brush with cancer when I was 49. And I had one of my kidneys removed. And um, I was lucky that that was another 20-odd years. But if I can do anything when I'm working, and I'm not worried about talking about it. In fact, it, it, for anybody who has cancer, um, unless they want to be very private about it and don't want to talk about it, which I don't think is actually a good thing, it helps talking about it. And if I get a little chance now to talk about it, if, if you need to, men or women, need to check their bodies. And if anything unusual comes up in your body, then you need to go and see a doctor as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. Had I continued checking, and I didn't continue checking after about 15, 20 years, and maybe I should have done, I probably wouldn't be in the situation I am now. But listen, I, I, 20, uh, two years ago, I've, I've discovered I had it back and uh, I'm still okay at the moment. Um, and you know, everybody should, should check their bodies, be uh, au fait with everything about your body. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. unless you feel any different. Yeah, yeah. You unless, you, different, yeah. unless you are, thing, cancer doesn't hurt until it's too late. When, mm. when it begins to hurt and when you, you find, you know, then yeah. it's quite often too late. So you need to listen and look at your body. Uh, right through all your age, but particularly when you're sort of 30, 20, 30, 40, you need to really well, it's 15, start... isn't it, with testicular cancer? I think yeah. you're from 15 yeah. onwards. Yeah. Well, Jason was 27 years old. Yeah. yeah. So... You yeah. know, it's, it's, it's and very fit and, and fit. a sportsman and yeah. you know Any, anyone at so. any time any age it is yeah. anyway let's uh, not dwell on this because we have Matt with us for uh, another 10 minutes or so um, and I, I you know I think people need to be aware of all these things and live life to the full which is basically what you're saying Matt because none of us know I have a, I have a friend a really good friend who's no longer with us um, and we were talking a couple of years ago about, he said, well, now you're not so well. We must get out there and do stuff and, and have fun. And then he had a, a massive aneurysm and he died. Yeah. None of us know. You get hit by a bus, can't you? Anything yeah, anything? none of us know well, I mean, how I mean, long we've got. The thing is, as well, like my, my sister was killed by a drunk driver at 18. Oh. My mum left, also died of cancer at, at, at 67. And I think that we really, all of us, spend so much time worrying what people think. And honestly... If you're a good person and and you wish well on people, I can promise you, to your point, James, I believe with all of my heart, if you live in a place of kindness and place of wonderment and just wish people well, and sometimes well to the point that they're going to do better than you, you will actually have a better life. And mm -hmm. I, I have really found great comfort in knowing who I am. I'm a confident man. I am absolutely at peace with wanting everyone around me to do mm. as well or better than I'm doing. Um, and, and I just think that it, it creates a much healthier biological mm. um, environment for your body. Yeah, positivity, and I think that yeah.